Where do we stand with the search for extrasolar planets suitable for harboring life? Well, all we can say right now is that the technology behind this field of research is still quite young. Every day there are new discoveries, but many of them need confirmation. However, we have already managed to put together a good number of planets with characteristics very similar to those of our Earth. At least apparently, errors are always possible. So much so that we have already found a way to draw up rankings based on factors capable of indicating their habitability, or at least their similarity with the Earth. What we propose is the most updated. Top 5 Most Earth-like Extrasolar Planets Updated Ranking While we have barely scratched the surface, we are at a pivotal time in our search for life elsewhere in the universe. This is largely due to the way modern telescopes have allowed us to discover thousands of extrasolar planets, or just exoplanets. As the number of confirmed exoplanets has grown, the focus has been slowly shifting from discovery to characterization. In other words, we found many distant worlds. Now we're attempting to determine which of them might be able to actually support life. To date, astronomers have confirmed the existence of 4,422 planets beyond our solar system. Of these, the vast majority have been a combination of Neptune-like gas giants, 1,496, Jupiter-like gas giants, 1,400, Super-Earths, 1,356. Only 165 have been rocky planets that are similar in size to Earth or Earth-like. Of all the planets we have discovered, only 59 have been identified as being capable of supporting life, what astronomers refer to as potentially habitable. Most of these 37 fell into the range of super-Earths to mini-Neptunes. 21 were similar to Earth, and one was about the same size as Mars. Not bad considering that all of these discoveries have taken place in just over 30 years. But in truth, most were discovered after 2009 when the Kepler Space Telescope was launched. Since then, several missions have built upon this impressive legacy and more are still to come. In the coming years, we stand to find many more planets and learn a great deal more about the ones we already know about. But first, a few things need to be clarified, not the least of which is terminology. For example, what does Earth-like mean? Simply put, Earth-like planets are those that are believed to be similar in structure and composition to Earth. Earth is composed primarily of silicate minerals and metals that are differentiated between a silicate crust and mantle and a metallic core. The technical term for this type of planet is terrestrial, though astronomers often use the term rocky to differentiate them from gas giants, which are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium with some heavier elements concentrated in the core. Beyond structure and composition, Earth-like is also meant to imply that a planet has conditions similar to that of Earth. This would include the presence of a thick atmosphere and liquid water on its surface. And what about potentially habitable? This term has also seen a lot of use in recent years whenever the subject of exoplanets comes up. What it refers to are those exoplanets that have been found orbiting within their star's circumstellar habitable zone which is sometimes referred to as the Goldilocks Zone. But how do we determine habitability? Concepts like the habitable zone, the orbital distance from a star allowing a planet with a suitable atmosphere to retain liquid water on its surface, are helping astronomers sort through the many possibilities to find likelier candidates for life-bearing worlds. Still, planets with life could be far outside this zone if there were, for example, an ice-covered planet with a deep ocean supporting aquatic organisms. A good way to estimate how habitable a planet is, is the Earth Similarity Index ESI. Proposed in 2011, this index gives alien worlds a number from zero, no similarity, to one, very similar to Earth, based on a few characteristics. These include the exoplanet's bulk density mean radius, surface temperature, and escape velocity. This is essentially the speed at which you must travel to break free of a planet's orbit. Planets that score above 0.8 are considered to be Earth-like. To give you an idea of how the scale works, Venus scores a 0.44 on the SI, whereas Mars comes in at 0.64, meaning neither are particularly habitable or Earth-like. 
Of course, we don't always have all the information about every exoplanet, as we glean all of these measurements from analyzing, for example, the light exoplanets reflect. So some of the numbers are our best guesstimates. Other factors must also be taken into consideration. Does the planet have a solid surface, an atmosphere, and a magnetosphere to protect it from the harshness of space? Is there some sort of energy source, like plate tectonics? What chemical compounds make up the planet's atmosphere? Does the planet maintain a stable orbit around its star that keeps it in the Goldilocks zone permanently? Is its host star stable in its luminosity fluctuations? Does it have an extreme tilt on its orbital axis? For many planets that have been detected, much of this information is unknown. In the coming years, next-generation telescopes are going to be aimed at confirmed exoplanets that have deemed worthy of follow-up observations. Using the Earth Similarity Index as a metric, the following exoplanets would seem like a good place to start. Here they are, the top five exoplanets to watch for in the next few years. Hang on a sec, guys, before we continue. Be sure to join the Insane Curiosity channel. Click on the bell. You will help us to make products of even higher quality. Fifth place, with an Earth Similarity Index of 0.91, Liutun B. Liutun B is a rocky exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of the nearby red star Liutun Star in the constellation Canis Minor, just to the right of the bright star Procyon. With a visual magnitude of 9.9, .9, it's too faint to be viewed with the unaided eye. Liutin B is one of the most Earth-like planets ever found and is the fifth closest potentially habitable exoplanet known at a distance of 12.2 light years. Only Proxima Centauri B, Bernard Star B, Ross 128B, and Galice 1061D are closer. Discovered in June 2017, Liutin B is a super-Earth of around 2.89 times the mass of Earth, receives only 6% more starlight than Earth, which makes it one of the best candidates for habitability. The planet is likely terrestrial with a diameter of about 18,000 kilometers and an equilibrium temperature of 14 degrees Celsius. For comparison, Earth has an equilibrium temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. Liutin B orbits quite close to its host star. One full revolution around Liutin's star takes about 18.6 days and an average distance of 0.091 AU much closer in than Mercury, which has a year of 88 days and an orbital radius of 0.387 AU. Fourth place, with an Earth Similarity Index of 0.94, Galice 581g. Galice 581g, discovered in 2010, is an extrasolar planet that orbits the star Galice 581, approximately 20.4 light-years from Earth in the constellation Libra. It is notable as it is thought to be in the middle of the habitable zone of its star. One full revolution around Galice 581 takes about 32 days and an average distance of 0.13 AU. The planet is a super-Earth of around 2.5 times the mass of Earth and is thought to be tidally locked to its star. The actual habitability of the planet depends on the composition of its surface and the atmosphere. It is thought to have temperatures around minus 37 to minus 11 degrees Celsius. By comparison, Earth has an average surface temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, while Mars has an average surface temperature of about 63 degrees Celsius. Third place, with an Earth Similarity Index of 0.95, TRAPPIST-1e. TRAPPIST-1e is an almost Earth-sized terrestrial extrasolar planet orbiting around the ultra-cold dwarf star TRAPPIST-1, located approximately 39 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Aquarius. The exoplanet discovered in 2016 is within the star's habitable zone, and it's one of seven exoplanets to be discovered orbiting the star. More detailed studies released in 2018 determined that the planet is one of the most Earth-like worlds found. It is extremely similar to Earth physically, with 91% of the radius, 77% the mass, 102.4% the density, and 93% the surface gravity of Earth. The planet orbits its host star quite closely. One full revolution around TRAPPIST-1 only takes six Earth days to complete at a distance of 0.03 AU. 
TRAPPIST-1e is confirmed to be a terrestrial planet with a solid rocky surface. It is cool enough for liquid water to pool on the surface. The planet receives a stellar flux 0.6 times that of Earth, about a third lower than that of Earth but significantly more than that of Mars. Its equilibrium temperature ranges from minus 48 degrees Celsius to minus 27 degrees Celsius, depending on how much light the planet reflects into space. Both of these are between those of Earth and Mars as well. TRAPPIST-1e is confirmed to have a compact, hydrogen-free atmosphere like those of our solar system's rocky planets, further raising the chances of habitability. Hydrogen is a powerful greenhouse gas, so if there was enough to be easily detected, it would mean that the surface of TRAPPIST-1e would be completely inhospitable. Since such an atmosphere is not present, it raises the chances for the planet to have a more Earth-like atmosphere instead. Second place, with an Earth similarity index of 0.95, Tea Garden B. Tea Garden B is an exoplanet found orbiting within the habitable zone of Tea Garden Star, an M-type red dwarf in the constellation Aries, about 12 light years from the solar system. Tea Garden B, discovered in July of 2019, is the innermost known planet orbiting Tea Garden Star with an orbital period of just 4.9 days and an average distance of 0.025 AU. Tea Garden B orbits within the habitable zone of its host star. This means that its atmospheric composition could allow for stable liquid water on its surface, and it's thought to have surface temperatures around minus 27 degrees Celsius. The planet's minimum mass and diameter are identical to those of Earth. Because of this, Tea Garden B is likely to be rocky with an ocean of water on its surface. First place, with an Earth similarity index of 0.98, KOI 4878.01. Discovered in 2015, KOI 4878.01 is an extrasolar planet that orbits the F-type main sequence star KOI 4878. It is located about 1,075 light years from Earth in the constellation Draco. The characteristics of the planet are very similar to that of Earth, and if it is confirmed, would have an Earth Similarity Index rating of 98%, which makes it the most Earth-like planet found. The orbital period of the planet is around 449 Earth days at a distance of 1.12 AU. It is very likely located within the habitable zone of its star. Its mass and diameter are identical to those of Earth as well as its surface temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. The only flaw is its great distance. Mind you, this is a classification based on the fragmentary data, some of which are still quite uncertain. It could change with each new discovery. After all, we are still in the first steps in this difficult remote exploration of planets lost in the brightness of their parent star. In the near future, more and more powerful telescopes will be deployed to search for and confirm more and more life-sustaining planets. First in line is the James Webb Space Telescope, targeted for launch in October of 2021. The Webb Telescope will be a cosmic multitasker, looking deep into the universe and deep into its past, to discover clues to its origin and early formation. The Webb Telescope will also capture starlight shining through the atmospheres of exoplanets, which provides a kind of profile of the gases present. This new era of characterizing exoplanets will continue with the launch of the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope in the mid-2020s. An intricate instrument on board called a coronagraph will help blot out the glare of parent stars to reveal orbiting planets. That will mean direct images of large, gaseous planets. Those targets are unlikely to be habitable, but demonstrating this technology will open the door to future such instruments with greater resolving power. A future telescope might even find a small rocky world with an atmosphere of oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. In other words, an atmosphere that reminds us of home.